Lounge, we have head coach Kim Barnes. Start with an opening statement for coach. Well, I thought they did a great job. They just made shots from the beginning to the end. Uh, they made big plays and uh, they rebounded the heck out of the ball. Evans killed us on the glass and uh, Loper made every every shot she had to. So they did a great job. All right, questions for Coach? Coach, what did you see from uh, Shanika Smith tonight? Uh, I see that she needs to shoot the ball in the last three minutes of the game. I mean, what, she, she, she's a heck of a player, but she needs to make big plays down the stretch, and that's kind of what I'm trying to have her do. I don't know how many shots she took at the end of the game, but uh, she needs to be able to make big plays at the end of the game. She needs to be able to get to the free throw line. Um, she's, you know, she could be a star, but she, I know her stat line looks good, but with, you know, Deshina out and, uh, you know, really no inside game right now, she needs to step up and even do more for us. Coach, it seemed like you guys had to show some toughness, uh, you know, came out and really just shot oh, yeah. How about that? And you had to just, just to battle through that adversity when, when they could have put you away. We said, uh, what was more incredible, that we gave up 93 points or that we actually scored 82? So we were trying to figure out which was more unbelievable. I mean, we said to them at halftime, we felt like we sustained like a punch in the face. I mean, they came out and they were unbelievably making shots. And, you know, we came back at half. And then the second half, we were able, obviously, to go ahead a little bit. Um, so we thought that we had, uh, you know, held off their punch, but then late in the game, I mean, that kid, you know, we lost her in the zone, we went to zone, uh, we lost her, and, uh, you know, and early in the second half also, I mean, we talked about at halftime, you know, don't step up on, uh, Bellaccio, don't step up on Bellaccio, don't step up, make Bellaccio shoot the ball, don't step up on Bellaccio, make her shoot it, and what do we do the first three possessions? Boom, boom, boom. Lay up, lay up, lay up, foul. Can't win the game like that. I mean, our game plan was to not step up on her, and we stepped up. Not in their defense, because there is no defense to it, but, you know, we got Amber Thompson, who is in her third college game, and we got Mary Wachuku, who really hasn't played much minutes. So our inside presence is really young and inexperienced, and obviously they showed that tonight against uh, Shante Evans. Um, you know, the loss now was standing. Was it good to get a lot of plays minutes though? Because you did go nine deep tonight. Well, we couldn't find anybody to stop anybody inside, so that's why we kept putting people in and trying to hope that somebody would stop them. Uh, you know, we're we're as much as you know everybody thought we were going to be really experienced coming back and and have a lot of depth. We're really not, and uh, you know we have Nadira, Eugenia, and Shanika who all play 30 plus minutes because there are three experienced kids. After that, everybody is pretty much new and inexperienced. So after that, it's a mix up. I mean, they all, you know, I mean, Harris comes in with some experience, um, but she also has never played, you know, at this level. So that's, that's an adjustment for her as well. But the, after those three, we're all a bunch of babies and we're just learning how to play. So it's, it gives me a good opportunity to, uh, to try everybody else out. We have another freshman who has been injured all year uh, who can really shoot the ball, so we're hoping that when she gets back and healthy, that opens things up for us because now everybody just sits in the paint and makes us uh, make outside jumpers. Coach, you said, uh, which is more shocking as far as getting up the points and scoring the points. In the last year, you guys had problems early on scoring and getting a transition game going. Was that positive to get up tonight that you were able to put up? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. I, I, you know, Hofstra's style of play just kind of really forces you to do that. I really think that, um, you know, obviously Nadira, Eugenia, and Shanika are three top, top players. I mean, those are three kids that could probably at some day play in the league. They're three top players. But now we got to find other pieces to surround them with because they can score. Um, and we also have to find people that can defend. So I think that, you know, yeah, we're happy we scored 82, but I'd rather score 42 and take the win. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, for us to score that much was, was a, definitely a good sign. But we just need some inside game now. We're just seriously lacking any inside presence. So that's a big, uh, a big thing for us.
along those lines, I mean, you, how tough is this system to play? I mean, you have 90 points a game. They just, they and they kind of force you to play that style, too. I mean, you try to slow them down, and you try to take the ball out of uh, Bellaccio's hands, but then that kind of wears you down, too, if you don't have the depth. So we put Gina on her early and tried to have her pick her up, but that obviously wears uh, Gina down a little bit, too. Um, I, I think one of the greatest things about them uh, – is the, and especially Bellaccio, is just her ability to, uh, I mean, go. I mean, you, you could probably put her in the New York City Marathon and she would finish. Like, the kid didn't stop. Did she get tired? I mean, I don't know if she was breathing heavy. And she, from to the last possession of the game, she's still running 100 miles down the court, where everybody else is, like, you know, trying to catch their breath. Um, I just think that she's in incredible shape. And the rest of them, they, they, I, I felt like, you know, they sub and stuff, but, but she really makes them go. And the rest of them could really stay with her. But she, she her her fitness level and just the, her ability to get her head down and make you have to play every single time is really tough. Yeah, they're really tough. I mean, they're, it, I don't know if they shoot this well all the time. I mean, you guys could probably tell me better. I mean, do they make shots like this? Yeah? Here. Here, right? I mean, that was ridiculous. I mean, uh, I don't know if I saw anybody make shots like, like they made shots tonight. I mean, they did bank a couple. Come on. There were a couple banks. Please. Yeah. Um, she specializes in that. Yeah, right, very right. Two different people. So <laughs> they must work on that shot as well. But, uh, but I mean, they, they were impressive. I knew they were going to be tough. And they're experienced. They have good leadership. They got a lot of people returning. And plus, you're playing on their home court. So I knew it was really going to be a challenge for us. Um, and I thought we kind of had him on the ropes there a little bit, and then Loper got hot again, or we left her open. Combo. Combination. But they were impressive. I thought they did a great job. Any more questions for Coach? That seems to be the league, right? That's the league of the year?